Jeremy Clements didn't start the 2024 Xfinity Series season the way he wanted, with a 29th place finish at Daytona. In the second race of the season at Atlanta, he survived a battle of attrition, more specifically, fuel mileage. Regardless of how he got there, the number 51 team walked away with a sixth place finish. I said we would have him on as a regular guest this season. Now seems like the perfect opportunity. And I'd like to welcome to the channel, Jeremy Clements. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kyle. Appreciate it. So let's talk about what happened the first week of the season at, Day at Daytona. You qualified, I think it was seventh, and then you ended up finishing 29th. So we know it's Daytona. Anything can happen. Talk to me about that race and kind of the mindset you took out of it coming into Atlanta. Daytona is, you know, a plate race and it's, it's just unpredictable. And, uh, I was really proud of that. We qualified seventh. I mean, that was impressive for, for us to do that. I was honestly, I knew we were bringing, I thought a good piece, but you just never know. There's so many good teams. Right. So I just, uh, I was very impressed with that. I want to thank Mark Setzer and all the guys worked so hard on the car and everything to get it, get that Chevy that fast. But yeah, just uh typical plate racing, you know, a lot of carnage, a lot of, uh, I mean, by lap 60, there was a lot of wrecks already. And then uh, we made it, we made it pretty far into the race. And then uh, we got hooked by the 31, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, it ended our day basically because the track bar was broken and it kept cutting the left rear tire down and we didn't meet the DVP clock and that was it. So uh, we're like less than 10 laps left. So that really sucks because, uh, you know, he went on to finish, you know, third or fourth or something, and we were heading that direction. So, uh, you know, that's just part of it. Right. So then we come to Atlanta, you qualify 23rd. What is the mindset? You know, I, I know from yesterday's cup race, anything can happen in at Atlanta starting on lap one or two. So you don't want to be back in the pack, but you qualify 23rd. What is your, what are your thoughts going into the race? I thought we'd definitely be better in 23rd, really. But, I mean, we qualified eighth there last year, and this was the same car, actually, and we didn't even run as fast as we did last year. So that was a little uh, still, I mean, we just don't know why. I mean, similar, very the same setup, basically. Thought it might have been a little bit better, too, but it wasn't. Uh, so we'll have to go back and look at that when we have more time. But, yeah, the, the, it was just a wholly diff, totally different race than it has been. The, the the pack racing wasn't there like it usually is. A lot of single file racing, really hard to do anything on the bottom. And it's like you threw an anchor out if you went to the bottom. So it's like nobody wanted to do it. Um, so it's really weird. I don't I don't know why. I can't put my finger on why it was so single file, you know. But but it was. I mean, so it was hard to pass. At the end, we. I had sped down pit road just barely, which, which I think it makes even worse when it's just barely <laughs> like 50.14 or something. So I screwed up there. We had to go to the back and then we came in and, and topped off right before we went, took the green. And that kind of helped us because it went green the rest of the way. And it was going to look like it was going to end up green. And then we had a caution and there was people starting to pit then. And, um, I don't even know where we're running, probably 15th, 16th, 17th, maybe. I'm I'm not even sure. But we were going to be able to make it, and a lot of people weren't, I think. <laughs> I mean, there's literally like two to three laps left, I think, when the caution came out. And I was like, all these guys are going to run out of fuel because they're like, you're barely going to make it. So uh, anyway, caution came out. We decided to pit because we're right there at the limit. And I'm like, I, we're going to run out of gas. Let's just pit. Mark actually Mark made that call. So he did a good call on that, brought us in. And um, then a lot of guys just didn't pit. I don't know why. Cause was, <laughs> I was like, how are they gonna make it? <laughs> so uh yeah, we took the green. I restarted like twelfth or 14th, maybe. And then we ended up six because people were we passed people that, that were uh running out of fuel and then we passed other people and actually got held up a little bit. We could have finished a couple spots better, but Still a good day, a good result for us, for sure. I mean, anytime you can come out, especially with a top 10 and a clean car, we're literally turning that car around for Vegas as we speak. So uh, good day, good points day. We'll take it. 
obviously, yes, I want to win. And uh, you just got to put yourself in those positions at the end to have a shot at it. But I was proud of the result for sure. Well, I think you're being a little modest, honestly, because I watched the replay of that final lap probably 10 times. I don't know how many times you've watched it. You drove it. I have but that last corner, you passed four cars, four. And I was like, what the hell? So you came into that last turn and it was like full sin. And you thought I'm sticking on the, I'm going on the bottom. I'm going for it. I hope it sticks. And it did. And you zipped around Cole Custer. I think someone had gone up against the wall. And then I think it was Anthony Alfred, but you just like hugged the bottom. And I was like, wow, that was impressive that you got that many spots at the end. So what were you thinking <laughs> at that point? Cause clearly you had aggression on your mind. No, definitely, man. I mean, we got to get a good finish. So I just held it wide open and what ha whatever happens, happens. I'm not letting off. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going for broke. And that's the way those plate races you got to do at the end. In my opinion, everybody's getting so wild and crazy and very uh, aggressive. So, yeah, I just held it wide open and went for it. And finally, it went our way for once. You know, last year, it wouldn't have went that way. So that was, uh, yeah, just, just went for it. It worked. Thank God. And the car was clean, like I said, so we can turn it around for Vegas. <laughs> we well, weren't even planning on taking that car, actually. We just, it was going to be easier on us. Take take the engine out, get it ready, because uh, we're bringing a newer car, and we're a little behind on that one. Well, you brought up last year, Jeremy, and we talked about this preview in the season, and how last year, for the first time in a long time, you didn't get any top tens. and you felt like you were kind of snake bit and just throughout the season, different things. If it could go wrong, it went wrong. So now, like you said, it was like, go for broke. This is it. Let's see what happens. So do you feel like, you know, I know athletes, drivers are superstitious. We're all superstitious to an extent, but do you feel like, Hey, maybe my luck has changed because I did make this ballsy move, you know, blowing the walls mm -hmm. off of the doors off of these four cars at the very end. And it worked last year. It probably wouldn't have. It did. So do you feel like, Hey, maybe this is a good sign for 2024. Yeah, it could be. I don't even know. You know, when I started racing a long time ago, I, yeah, I used to be like, can't wear green and got to wear, you know, the same this and that. And I don't, that stuff. I just, I don't know. I don't believe it anymore. You know, it is what it is. And, but yeah, last year, whatever you just had, a, we just had a bad year. I mean, I already said in that last video, but like just nothing worked. I mean, as far as we just getting wrecks and things break and it uh, finishes, we should have had like that. We should have had several top tens, but just didn't know, didn't come to be. But anyway, yeah, maybe this is a turning point. All I know is we've had, uh, we've had good speed the past two races, but honestly, doesn't really mean much because those are plate tracks. We're going to a real racetrack this weekend that, you know, that is the bulk of the schedule and that'll tell the tale for sure. So these next two weeks, we'll really get to see where our stuff is. All right. Uh, last question. And I, I was going to be done with it, but you talk about, and I want a racer to explain to me because it is on play tracks. And I know you won a Daytona, but you also want to walk in Glen. So you, they talk about play tracks and how anybody can win those, but you, I feel like you have to be good to win those races, right? And you would consider Atlanta a super speedway, right? Well, we won at Road America, by the way, but... I mean, sorry, Road I America. Mean, no, it's okay. I, so, like, yeah, I mean, now it is because we run a restrictor plate there, you know? I mean, we're only running, we only got 430, 40 horsepower, whatever it is. And, you know, back when we used to race there before the configuration, we had... 700 something like we you like we usually do so yeah it's a speedway race for sure but yeah we have eight of those this year actually you know we have two atlantas two dagas two daytonas and an indy and a michigan so yeah i mean it's good to have speed at those because we got six more of these babies down the road so that is good but then the, then the rest of the schedule is is a lot you know it's 31 more races and that's only six of those are speedway races so uh I just don't, I th just, you got different packages and that's a package. I feel, okay, we're, at least we got some speed with that package, but now it's on the next one to see, you know, what we got. We were going to run these two races. Then we're going to go to a road course 
and then we'll see how we'll see how that package is, right? But these next two, Vegas is intermediate, obviously, a mile and a half. Phoenix is a high speed, it's it's a high speed short track, but it's not a short track it, to me. It it's very aero sensitive and, and it really is. So it's hard to like you can't really you can kind of compare it for New Hampshire, uh like but not Richmond, Martinsville, Bristol. So it's kind of its own beast. But uh yeah, I'm just looking forward to it, man. I'm, I can't wait to go to Vegas and have to let off the gas <laughs> and use the brake a little bit and drive the car, you know, <laughs> where, where you're just wide open and you just, that's what you're doing. That's not fun to me. I like, I like, I like having power. I like using the brake and doing things to make maneuver the car. That's fun to me. Well, I, I wish you the best of luck. I appreciate you joining us here on the channel. And I wish you the best of luck this weekend at Las Vegas, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, Jeremy. All right. Thank you, Kyle.